I read. I read a lot. But uh, I read. Uh, <laughs> well, you read some fucking stop signs and shit. I read, no, I read. Uh, I read a lot of. Uh, I like biographies. I like to read biographies. I like to okay. read um, sports shit. Like I read the Derek Jeter biography. Okay. Um, I'm I'm gonna read Alex Rodriguez biography, and then I'll get to Roberto Clemente. So I'm like in the sports. So if I'm gonna read, it has to be something that I'm interested in. I can tell obviously. you how the Roberto Clemente one ends. <laughs> he dies in a plane crash. <laughs> oh, come on, spoilers! <laughs> yeah, he dies in a plane crash. Yeah. But uh, I think I think the book is probably more about what he meant to the people of Puerto Rico and how he gave back and the awards and the people that have won the awards after him or something like that. I don't know. Could there be... He means so much to two very opposite people, Puerto Ricans and people from Pittsburgh. Yes, yes. The irony in that yeah. is hilarious. Because he was the only Puerto Rican in Pittsburgh probably. I think to this day he was the last Puerto Rican in Pittsburgh. Yeah. He <laughs> died. Last. He died trying to leave Pittsburgh. <laughs> <laughs> That's why there's a statue of him in Pittsburgh. People think it's because of baseball. No, no. just the so. only Puerto Rican guy to be there. <laughs> you remember when we had a Puerto Rican here? Yeah, he's got a statue yeah, 1962, downtown. 1962. <laughs> That's right. Yeah, the one Puerto Rican. The came one through. Puerto Rican that we had here. We also have a, a monument for the Japanese guy that walked through that one day. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Imagine if. Uh, Puerto Ricans just go to a place for the first time and they just start fucking putting up statues for dudes. Just oh, yeah. <laughs> they put up statues for dudes and start selling uh, fruit on the subway. Right, right, right. <laughs> this is the last Puerto Rican who was here. He sold fruits on the subway and now he's gone. But we have this statue to commemorate. Yeah, that's right. Remember this guy? <laughs> Give out some awards for this dude. For real. Oh, shit, man. Uh, now, did you... This is one thing I like to do in the beginning for all time, for first guests. Have you done any research into this podcast? I have not. Okay. Um, I know you, so that's as much research as I've done. I see the clips. The clips are doing well, kid. Oh, thank you. Good stuff. Thank you. I don't make them. That's an AI app. And, and, but, I mean, you make the whole thing. And we had the conversation at Stone Street Comedy Club the other day. That's right. And uh, you, you opened my eyes to, like, how to monetize YouTube and... Not 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 even monetizes how to create the content like you do mm. the way you broke it down and I've been telling everybody this by the way I'd be like yo have you seen Rich Apples I just took it pocket? from Shoals that's all I did but you know what it's one thing to take the idea whatever it is you're doing it you know what I'm saying and right. that's that's the biggest thing is that most people are stuck you know caught in this well it has to be this or it has to be that or it has to be perfect and none of that matters no. you're just doing the thing. And to me, it's successful. Oh, right? I don't know what anybody else says or I don't know how you feel. It's successful because, number one, you're doing it and you enlighten me. So the way you broke it down to me is you like I do the 45 minutes of the pod. Then I do the 45 minutes of the Patreon. And then I do I split it up in the clips, three clips a day or whatever it is. Yep. And that's the thing. So the shorts bring the people back to the long form. Right. And they watch the long form for however long they want or if they don't want. And that's the way to do it. That's what I'm trying. Twenty four more hours and then I could actually put ads onto the YouTube. Congratulations. So you fucking gays better watch, dude. <laughs> <laughs> you gays better watch this full fucking episode. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh shit. Yeah, thank you for watching, guys. I appreciate it. I appreciate that. it. No, that's that's dope, kid. That's dope. I love it, man. Uh, now, cause if you look, if you read any of the comments, not, and not all the comments, but like 90% of the comments on this channel, you would know, and I think I brought it up to you. Yes. The gay foot fetish following. Yes. Yes. Okay. So you're aware. I, I'm aware and I respect it, man. Everybody's got their thing. And, Everyone's got their thing. And that's okay. Shout I out to I thought I was going to have to take off my socks and that's up to you. No. You will get, okay. So there's few routes you could go here. You could do the socks. There's a there is a divergence. There's a sock and no sock community. Right. You will get f uh, custom feet picture requests in your DMs. Either way you go. So y'all can't just fucking just chop up this clip and take a like a zoom in into my. No, nah, the sock. So they they, they yeah. want they want the actual. People like uh, no. They like a sock. They like a no sock with the top of a foot. They like an arch. That's interesting. So there, I don't know if that and, does anything. And dudes, dudes like this shit. And Other they're willing dudes? to pay a lot of money. Really? Yeah. Holy shit. I'm not doing that. Yeah, I don't. I don't think I would do that. But here's here's the thing, though, is that I think 
my so I play baseball, right? And, okay. And my toenails came up like from all the years of playing. I had some issue with my toenails, so okay. they're, they're damaged. I think if I started showing feet pics to dudes, they would probably quit having a foot fetish altogether they would be done with their foot fetish or they come to the moon <laughs> <laughs> yes yes they would be like oh i'm done uh, i can't do this anymore. i also like how you preface that with like he played baseball so my feet are weird it's like, yeah, no, yeah, Lee, yeah i think that's just your feet <laughs> <laughs> I think you just got weird i'm feet. blaming it on on sports <laughs> on being an athlete on, <laughs> you're blaming it on the sport where you stand the most like. <laughs> yeah where there's not much action wait you're you were a baseball player i played baseball yeah i, I uh I played up, up until college, so I went. I went to, to Fairleigh Dickinson University for my first D one semester, and everybody that went, um, everybody that went that I played with in the area got yeah. scholarships there, and I didn't get a scholarship. I turned down an offer to play in Florida, um, okay. and then because I was having a kid. And then I was like, let me just go to Fairley Dickinson and all the guys that were all league, all star, everything in high school got picked or, or went to FDU. So I was like, ride. yeah. And I was like, I'm not going to try to walk on. So I just stopped playing altogether. I just stopped playing. Okay. And then I picked the game back up and then I started playing again and I tried out for some independent leagues to to try to get back into that whole path. Like and the Long Island Ducks? Yes. Something like that. Okay. Um I used to work for the Long Island Ducks. No Ducks. shit. Don't want to brag. Look at that. Security in the parking lot. Wow, that's no huge. No big deal. That's huge. I met Don Trell Willis. Who who did you oh yeah? yeah Don yeah. Trell Willis coached the No, he Played he for played like for the Ducks? two days. Holy shit, yeah, dude. dude! What a downfall he had. He Gigantic was gigantic downfall. But you met him, or he met you. So that's, that's what he's saying now. <laughs> yeah, he's like, you know that kid with almost fifteen hundred YouTube subscribers? I met that dude. <laughs> Don Trell doesn't have a podcast, so maybe he has he a World have, Series ring. He does. He does. Maybe yeah. he can. Uh, and he, they beat the Yankees, which sucks for me. I know because I remember that. I was that game one. Really? Oh yeah. How old were you, fucking? Uh, in Two thousand three. I was. 10. I just turned 10. Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the fucking, that's like the highlight of your life, I'm sure. Oh, I went to game seven of the 2004 ALCS. When they, when Kevin Brown fucking. When they hit, uh, it was David Ortiz, Manny Ramirez, and uh, he played for the Yankee. Damon, they hit Johnny home Damon runs hit into home. the right field. Yeah. I was saying right on top. Oh, my God, dude. Right above it. They, they, that was the year that they came back from down 3 0. Yep. And they won. And Kevin Brown was supposed to get us out of there because he was the big money pitcher. No, was it Javi? It might have been Javi Vasquez. Yes. <sighs> Fucking guys. Terrible times. Terrible times. Terrible times. I know I just drank my sorrows away. I was 11 <laughs> years old. <laughs> let, me get it, let me get the kid another beer. Yeah. <laughs> this is back before they carded. Right, right. This is right, 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 right after 9-11, folks. Unless, unless you look like a, a grown man in, uh, in 2004. No, I didn't. No, I was very heavy. I weighed as much as a grown man really? in uh, 2004. Oh, yeah, babe. No shit. Oh, yeah. I, I don't know over that story. 300 get the fuck out of here. No shit. Oh, kid. yeah. And how much have you lost since then? I haven't stepped on the scale recently. Oh, okay. At a point, it was uh, 140 pounds. Nice. Yeah. Very cool. But and you're happy with where you are right yeah, now. Yeah. Well, you look yeah, fine. Uh, yeah, well, yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Fine. Tall is a, gay is a decent foot fetish dudes. Yeah, you gays. <laughs> You've never commented on my body, so thank you or no thank you. I don't really know how to take that. One guy did DM me. He's like, you're very handsome, and then sent a picture of himself. Oh, He's wow. like, just to let you know I'm not a weirdo. I was like, yeah, <laughs> yeah you're yeah, not a weirdo. You're not weird. <laughs> you're sending me a fucking DM of your face. Tell me I'm cute. <laughs> you're cute. Here's a picture of me yeah. just to show you. Just to show you. Because I have good taste. I mean, look at me. I have such good taste. I'm going to show you a picture Yeah, and you of think me. this is successfully. <laughs> <laughs> this is wild. At least you get DMs, dude. Fucking, I don't. A good amount. <laughs> good shit, man. Good, not from ladies. Not, not yet. It's not still, yet. it's still early. That's right. Well, dude. you gotta pass the fucking, you know. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta crawl. make your way up. Yeah. So you're playing. Uh, you were playing baseball. You I'm were playing out of baseball. baseball. Now you're back. Back in, in baseball. Okay. Um, and I wasn't as good as I thought I could have been because I didn't put anything into it. Um, or enough. I should say enough. I didn't put enough into it. Like, um, I have a very good friend of mine who I see, who I reconnected with recently. Uh, he, we went to high school together. He went and played professionally in Japan. Very cool. And now he is uh, an ambassador 
for uh, in Dubai for their baseball program. They just started a league. Yes, and yeah. he is part of that. And the way his work ethic, well, and I tell this to everybody, his work ethic was like, I thought I was just going to make it, but he knew he was going to make it because he was acting as if. Like he was already doing the things every day like he was going to be in the league. Coming to practice early, staying after practice, doing his training, stretching, everything. He went through all of this stuff in high school. So he knew that he was going to make it. And he made it to the professional leagues, man. He got drafted, I believe, by Colorado or something like that. So I didn't put that type of effort in. Um, I thought I could just show up and be nice, but it doesn't work that way. Do you think if you put, went to practice early, stayed late, you also could get paid in oil money to start a league? Um, I don't know what could have happened, but that would have been that. that Seems would, like an option. Yeah, that would have been the dream. Like, yeah. I mean, this, the Saudis are just fucking, they want everybody. They're giving boatloads of money to everybody to just come over there. and. Well, let's come down on everyone. I'm just checking to see if the video's on because mm-hmm. I'm neurotic. Bartolo Colon's in the league. Like, what are you talking about? Well, baseball, I'm talking about like they're doing boxing, they're doing... Um, Oh, they're, yeah, they're trying to get they're trying all. to get boxing. They're doing golf, obviously. So they're getting everybody. Over What's going there. on they're with just... the golf? Because like people are joining Live, but I thought PGA bought Live. I don't know. I don't know what that situation yeah, is, but there's just money on top of money, and everybody's fucking. I wish I could go back and, or maybe I should try to have a kid now and fucking get him into golf, get him some golf lessons, and get that thing going. That's right. Not tackle football. Not tackle football. Not tackle yeah. football, more golf. Golf, yeah. yeah. I mean, tackle football is going to be done soon anyway, so golf is probably the way to go. They'll erect a statue of him because he'd be the first Puerto Rican in Dubai to play golf. So they'll just... <laughs> yeah, they're just like getting real niche with their, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> with their statues. Yeah. There's a bunch of Puerto Ricans all over the world. But there's this one who particularly played golf in Dubai, so we're going to... Or he's maybe I should send him into Pittsburgh. No, he wouldn't get any love. No, in he's Pittsburgh. not getting a statue. Of they already got one. <laughs> they already got. You got to send him to like Chattanooga one. or something. Yeah, there's one, one at a time. <laughs> That's right. We're doing our statues and our Puerto Ricans one at a time. It's not a bad idea. The the golf. I wish I, uh, you're not a golfer, dude. I can't. My attention span. Like I'll play. What does that mean? I, I'll play nine holes, but once it gets to the second nine hole, like I can't. I hate it. I I hate the attention that you have to. Or just so much walking around and so much trying to find the fucking ball and shit like that. I don't like any of that shit. I'll play gotcha. nine. I'll play nine. You play nine and be done for the day. Okay. For months, I'll be done for years. The last time I played was like ten years ago, maybe. You're not even there for the drink and for the camaraderie. I don't drink, so you don't yeah, drink. Okay, yeah. well, that's out. And I don't like people too much, so. Okay, uh, well, these <laughs> seem to be two of the biggest factors of golf. <laughs> yeah. No, I. I uh, yeah, I can't do it, man. I can't do something like that for that long. It just takes... Shout out to everybody who plays golf, but I just can't do it. Shout out to the whites, dude. Yeah. Shout out to... to <laughs> Does to, anyone else play golf? To the sales guys who are trying to impress somebody. That's right. I have, I fall into that category, but I went golfing twice. I do like it. You're in sales? I'm in sales. Okay. Software sales. Software sales. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which company? Uh, Chain Analysis, it's called. Do they know? Or are you allowed yeah, they, to talk? Okay. Yeah. It's also on LinkedIn. I Chain never analysis. know what to say when it comes to like work. Because it's public. Like, you look it's me public up, it's information. Public. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. As long as they don't talk about like... Poorly or shit on the company or anything like that. Even that, I think I could say that. Is I think I just can't talk about like open deals. I have of course. Of with. course. Of course. I think that's the only thing I can't talk of about. Of course. So, what do, what do they do? Because I'm in, I'm in IT, by the way. That's right, which I was going to get into in, eventually. Uh, uh, crypto AML. Oh, oh, something completely different that I have no idea about. But what are you doing? I do, I do IT security for a law firm. So oh, information, okay. information security. So my college roommate does. I forgot what law firm, though. Shout out Nick Billionis. You don't watch this shit. Nicky B. Nicky B. Greek kid. Oh, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Real Greek kid. Yeah. Yeah. A lot of crosses. Uh, yeah, because you have a vibe of like if Prince Fielder knew Python. Yes. Yeah, yeah. That's that's kind of like exactly what it is. But I, I did uh, IT because my dad bought my first computer when I was 11, and I kind of like did the thing. Um, You're one of those nerds like breaking down computers no, and shit? No, not at all. Not at all. Um, 
not a not a nerd at all it's just it just happened to be the thing that i did the most and i was like oh this is a hustle just like anything else what does that mean well the thing you did the most well i went to school also for computers i went to a technical high school and i did computers there and then i just started working and then i was like okay let me just try to be good at this thing because i'm not going to make it in baseball let me try to be good at this thing so I can make some money and feed my family. So it's okay. just a thing that I that I did that I was pretty turned out to be pretty good at. Interesting. Okay. You were in uh you know, the first iteration of the internet, you're trying to download porn, you got a virus, exactly. and then you had to teach yourself how to exactly. get the virus off. Exactly. So a lot of what I did was I would steal computers and then resell them. Or I would Okay. Get broken computers and then resell them. That's kind of like how I got my start in into hardware. I, I understand how that gets you started into hardware. It sounds like you were in hardware sales. <laughs> I was in hardware. <laughs> it I was like a lot of IT I, security. I, I should be. I, actually, I should be a sales guy because that's that was my first foray was stealing computer equipment and then selling it. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I like I that. Did that. And then uh and then I got into networking because that's where the money was. So I, of course. I did Yeah. And then I was like, I'm tired of, you know, going around and spending late nights in data centers and shit like that. So let me go into the security side. What is a data center? So a data center is where they house all the servers, right? So if the infrastructure of your of your company, let's say your company, right? They may not have all the equipment, the central equipment in right. your office. They'll have it in a data center where it's secure, where it's cooled, off where there's enough powder, power, yeah, off-prem. I know industry terms. Yeah, that's pretty good, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then, uh, you know, it's it's secure, it's, it's in a cage, and, you know, you can easily get the data and backup data and all of that stuff and instead of having it in your office here's my thing about a data center you always watch like verizon commercials they always show a guy in a data center he's like on a computer in front of like a 1960s machine that's real that's real that's very real yes but like what's he doing because he seems like he's kind of bullshitting he's he's trying to figure shit out he's trying to figure out like what's actually wrong like some somebody calls they can't get email he's in there fucking trying to figure shit out Nah, dude. i think he's just like keeping slack open so he's like nah i'm working i'm standing in front of the machine what are you talking about well he's probably there uh because the real people are on the phone guiding him through there because they don't want to be in the data center because it's kind of cold in there too oh is it cold in there it's fucking freezing in there maybe i should maybe i should check that out yeah i like a cold room yeah as you can tell by my air conditioning being on when it's 40 degrees 40 degrees it's 12 degrees outside and rich has his ac in a pre-war building with a lot of old juice this is nice and it's what it is this is fucking nice like this would be the i know you've lived in new york city for a long time i haven't lived in new york city for a while Oh, I've never lived in New York City. I've lived in the Bronx, but I've never lived in New York City. Right. And this is like the dream, man. You can fucking move around and hang out late and do all of that. I like it. I also want to get, because people are going to be in the comments saying the Bronx is New York City. We got to clarify for people. Yeah, no. it's So Manhattan is really considered New York City. Facts. The, the Bronx is the Bronx and Brooklyn and Queens and, you know, the borough of Staten Island. So they're all separate, but... Yeah, and I guess it's New York City, but no, it's we consider not. we consider it Manhattan. We consider the city Manhattan. Right. People from New York call New Manhattan New York City. New York City, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I did uh Stone Street Saturday night. Mm-hmm. Got the number of a nice, attractive girl who I thought was Irish. Nice. Turned, Turned out to up. be a girl from Staten Island. Get the f- <laughs> <laughs> she just talked really that, quick. That, that <laughs> fucking accent will have you thinking she's from anywhere. Dude, gorgeous, blonde hair, blue yeah. eyes, like tall. And then I got to talk to her. I was like, oh, wow. No, you're not Irish at all. Your last <laughs> name's just Farley. You're a fucking garbage pal. Uh, I'm sure she would be impressed with this, though, man. Well, you she'd be impressed back. with anything. She's from Staten, Staten Island. Island. <laughs> <laughs> well, she's probably got being from Staten Island. They got their own houses out there and shit like that. They live in. Uh, Wait, where are you coming from? Where you think houses are impressive? I mean, it's different from being in New York City. You live with fucking seventy-seven Jews in this building, right? I think there's more than that, but yeah, it's a good amount of Jews. Uh, yeah, it's a good amount. And who of knows Jews. how many are under us right now? <laughs> 
<laughs> are there their mattresses right underneath us right, right underneath. now? <laughs> yeah, yeah. So I mean, having a house is a big deal, man. Yeah, having a house. Yeah, I don't know my parents. Well, my parents are from Queens. They always wanted a house when they got the house. That was a big thing. They got a house in Queens. No, they, uh, I grew up on Long Island. Oh, okay. So I lived right. in Queens and then moved yeah, out to Long Island. And that Long was Island. like, people were like, you think you're better than us? Because you have a, a the house? Deal. Yeah. And then yeah. I didn't realize. But yeah, people like, they value a house. I don't know why. Yeah, I don't value a house. I, this is a good living space. I would I would not mind living here. Maybe not for a uh, family that's and the, uh, that's stuff the thing. like that. People make the mistake of wanting a family. <sighs> yeah, in New York. Yeah, that's a terrible thing. I'm down for it, though. Are you? I would do it. You want a family? I mean, if I, yeah, wait, whoa, that's where you're going? I'm, you, wait, you have a family. I do what have are we a family. Talking about? My, I have a kid who's on probably your age. How old is he? 30, my daughter's 31. Older than me, I'm 30. Yeah, see? Oh, wow. And my son is catching up. He's 18. So, yeah, I did it. I did it. It's fine. You know, okay, but here, here's the thing: you can always do that, right? Like this is kind of like a lifestyle, and I'm I'm speaking of like being in comedy. Yes, that's a factor here. Yeah, that's that's completely like this is the lifestyle of a comedian. This is the best lifestyle for a comedian because you don't when you start to have a family, and I, I mean it's good for material, et cetera, et cetera, but also to the the late hours, the 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 things that go into being a comedian is not. I, I wouldn't think is healthy for someone trying to start a family. And I'm sure people have oh, done no. it, but it's it's a long and lonely thing. And, and you don't want to bring new people in, you know, to to sit with you while you're sad and shit like that, if that makes sense. No, 100%. Yeah, we, we talk about it often on the pod. Uh, like dating a girl, they think it's fun that you're a comedian for like three months. It doesn't last at all. And it does, yeah, it doesn't last long. It doesn't last at all. You take them to like one great show and they think it's all fun right. and games, and then all of a sudden you're in Chattanooga for a weekend and they're like, are you fucking serious? Yeah, and yeah. you're like, it's what it's, what, it's it is. what the job is, yeah. Right. Um, my wife used to, when we were dating, she would come to all of my shows. The moment we got married, that shit stopped. Yeah. She doesn't come to any shows. I mean, she went to one show recently that we had at a theater where I opened up for uh, Nick Alex and Kevin Herrera, and that was fucking fantastic. So she came to that. But anything else, it's not going to happen. Where are, you, are you in Jersey? I'm in Jersey. Oh. Yeah. Okay. In Bergen County. Yeah. Bergen County. Bergen County is nice. Very nice. Very nice. We live in a nice area. A lot of uh, large Jewish community. In the town that I live in. Shout out to you. Um, yeah, the, it's a great, great city. It's I'm 10 minutes from the George Washington Bridge. I'm, what, 20, 25 minutes from you? Oh, really? That yeah. close? Yeah. All right. I know Glen Rock. Glen Rock. Uh, yeah, Ridgewood? We, we, looked in, we looked in Glen Rock. We looked in Ridgewood. I love Ridgewood. In fact, um, my partners and I are opening up a... Uh, grooming salon for guys in Ridgewood. We just signed the lease, and Hammer and Nails Ridgewood will be very opening nice. up in July. Congrats! Thank you very much. That'd be man. sick. Excited Wait, do you cut that. hair? No. So uh, yeah, we uh, it's it's grooming, it's hair cutting, nails, uh, f- foot, feet, oh, ha- hand. Oh, this is gigantic. Hand and foot Huge salon. Plug. Yeah, hand and foot salon. So everybody will be at our shop with their uh, with their toesies out. So. But just for dudes. Just for dudes. Yeah, okay. and it's 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 a dope concept. And I'm sorry, but it just I just got off actually a conference no, call just, with my guys. This right is now. the whole point of this show. Just talk about whatever. So yeah, so um, we have it, it's it's like a uh, it, it'll be a nice seat for guys that while they're getting the nails done. They have their own TV, their own headphones. They can watch the game. We'll be doing you know bachelor party events and uh, sporting events like for the Super Bowl. You know, eventually when we open up, right. we'll have guys who rent it out and come there and get their services and be able to watch the game. Everybody gets a free beverage when they come in. So it's really, really okay. classy, really, really dope. Looking forward to, uh, to, to it opening, man. It's been so much work, um, and it's been a long time coming. Like, we, we had this concept a while ago, and we bought the franchise in maybe, like, 2018, and then the pandemic happened. Oh, it's a franchise? Yeah. Yeah. Oh damn. Um, so we're the first one in Jersey. 
Is it sports clips? No, 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 no. It's, oh. it's Hammer and Nails. Complete, oh, that's what it's called. Yeah, Hammer and, Hammer and Nails. Completely different from sports clips. Uh, way cooler, way smoother for for uh, for grown men. Okay, yeah, it's like a gay sports clips. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> that's exactly what it is. Any dude who wants to get his nails done, most likely. No, you'd be surprised, man. Guys go to, and we get this a lot, like guys will go to a regular nail salon and not feel comfortable because they're sitting around right. a whole bunch of women. So now, I thought you were going to say Asians. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or the other word no yeah a whole bunch of uh women and it and it's you know it, it feels uncomfortable so now you could go enjoy a beverage get your services done but i'm looking at um i'm, I'm actually looking at like i'm a big jets fan too and a and a big Knicks fan. hoodie johnson hoodie johnson yeah i'm a big jets fan so that's kind of like the market that i i would like to target like the professional athletes and stuff and get them in there Getting yeah, the they services. want that shit. They do. They yeah, do. Yeah. They got to take care of themselves, man. Are you gonna do like? Uh, I never done anything with my feet. Spoiler alert. Anything with my feet or hands? I don't know if they do it with their hands. But the fish. You gonna do the no, fish? No, no, no. Can't have that. Can't have that. That can't can be it. like sanitary. Um, or is it sanitary? It, uh, yeah, it's. I I doubt that it is. But uh, yeah, we can't have any of that in the shop, unfortunately. The yeah, fish. There's yeah. gotta be a lot of like health codes. Something. With that. Yeah. Something I I don't yeah. I don't like, need, just they, that type of store. Yeah, they probably do that like uh, maybe in the Caribbean or something like that. Yeah, so yeah, it's something you see in like Key West, right? Right. You right, know, some exactly. real like white trash area. They'll put a yeah. fish in there. They're trying to kill off the fish or something like that. Is that so what they're they, doing? I don't know. I knew it, dude. <laughs> uh, are you like a pedicure guy? No. No, um, I'll get manicures every now and again if I'm really? going somewhere and stuff like that, but not a big pedicure. Yeah, now that guy. I'm looking, you got you got you got good hands. Yeah, well, I got typers' hands, man. I got the fucking type of hands where I type all day, you know. That's a good. Those are good hands. Yeah, I guess my mother-in-law looked at me and she was like, "You got, you have, uh, you have, you have, you don't have man hands." I'm like, what "The fuck are you talking what about, that I'm mean? a man?" Uh, she wants big knuckles and fucking and like grit under the fingernails, like. To show that she I wants a put blue it collar hands. she wants a blue collar guy. Yeah. Okay, yeah, 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 a little oil hands. Yeah, exactly. Okay, exactly. A little grease on the. You didn't go to college hands. to have, you know, I hammer thumbs. I didn't. That doesn't make sense. I didn't. But uh, yeah, so um, yeah, I got fucking. I do a manicure every now and again, and I will do pedicures, man. I will do pedicures from now, and maybe I'll show you, motherfucker. At hammer day. and nails, dude. At hammer and nails. Shout out to hammer and nails, Bridgewood. Uh, yeah, last time I was in Bergen County, I did a benefit for uh, Don Bosco. Oh, shit. A little benefit for Donnie B, and it was all sponsored the, uh, the what's it called? The heiress of ShopRite. No way. Like funded the whole thing. Wow. That's tri-state wow. royalty, dude. Yeah, holy shit. They own all the ShopRites? Because uh, it's a franchise situation. I guess, I guess. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but they must have. Yeah, but they own. Shit, dude. I don't, yeah, That's like money, Arthur Shoprite or something. I don't know. That's money. Dude, That's I was money. like, I was like, damn. I've never been around this type of yeah, Don mediocre Bosco. success. This is the highest mediocre success can go. <laughs> it's heiress of Shoprite. How did you do, though? How did you, I did well. That was a good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good. That's the most important thing. Well, Don Bosco, a lot of crucifixes in the room, but I, I was yeah. able to pull it out. Yeah, Don yeah, Bosco is yeah. a good school. Don Bosco, school. good school. Good yeah. football program. Uh, I got a friend of mine uh, whose son plays uh, high school varsity basketball at Don Bosco, so he's pretty good. Does some AAU stuff, but yeah, Morris. Okay. Morris, shout out to Morris P. Um, shout out. Yeah, I'll, sh I'll show him this clip, let him know that I shot him out. But yeah, his his son plays ball at Don Bosco, so a lot of good football players come from. I think... Uh, Jabril Peppers may have gone to Don Bosco. He went Bosco. to Paramus Catholic. Oh, okay. Same shit. They're yeah, yeah, yeah. Same. Yeah, but yeah. there's a lot of good Private ones. Jersey Catholic school. Yeah. 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 I love that. My thing, again, say it a while on the pod, my dream, if comedy didn't matter or money or anything like that, high school football coach. Really? That's it, dude. Nice. That's the dream. That's a good dream. Preferably in Texas or like the rural south. Yeah, where it's big. And yes. you get pl paid big money to be a high school football coach in those areas. And by big money, we mean like 65K. 
I mean, you live like a king with 65 k in fucking Texas. Lee, you get it. Yeah. Yes, that's exactly what I'm going yeah. for. 65, 70K, the boosters take care of you. You don't pay for a meal. Yeah, yeah, exactly. What are you doing? You, anywhere you go, you're a hero as long as you went on Friday night. You can take your blonde uh, Irish chick from Staten Island out there and she'll be living like a queen. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> and she'd probably love it, too. The bennies you get from a public school yeah, in Texas? Yeah, you kidding me? Exactly. <laughs> no, well, that's why I went, I went to school for, like, a glorified PE uh, degree. No shit. Exercise science. Okay. Yeah, so, like, real trash shit. Right, right. So, yeah, like, playing, like, racket. I took a class called racket activities, dude. Is, is that the the uh, the predecessor to fucking uh, pickleball now? Is that what the, what that is? We we dabbled in pickleball. It wasn't, really? It wasn't one of the units in the curriculum. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you know how you learned, like, SQL and Python? I learned badminton and tennis. That's the type of classes I took. Oh, uh, shit. That's yeah, funny. dude. Aquatics. Oh, nice. That was a class, dude. That's pretty cool. Is that the uh, where you danced upside down in the water? Or is that just fucking swimming? <laughs> Good question. I, I thought it would be that. No, dude. I went, and the teacher was a former U.S. Olympic swimmer, this chick. Oh, no I forgot shit. what her name is. And uh, she took it, like, very seriously. Really? And I was like, yo, it's 7 a.m. It's cold as fuck. Let's chill. And she's like, no, you got to swim 1,000 meters. Wow. I was like, why are we counting meters, dude? It's America. Right, right, right. Figure that shit out. Was she fix fishing for the next Olympian, or she was just, like, wanted to keep her job and shit? No, but I went to a school called uh, SUNY Cortland. Okay. I don't know if you've heard of it. Yes. Yeah, it's bad. It's a bad school. And that's why it produ it's all like if you were the captain of your high school football team or the captain of the cheerleading team, if you're a chick, you like automatically get into Cortland. Mm. So that's everyone around. Yeah. yeah so it's yeah. just like everyone kept, they're all gym teachers. All my friends are gym teachers. Oh, no shit. Or like, yeah, like some sort of teacher and they coach a sport. So they must think you're really fucking cool. No, they, really? they everyone. No, dude. They're like, why are you not? Why are you not? Why are you doing not a this? gym teacher? Yeah. This is the easiest money you'll ever get. They're like, what are you doing? They're like, why don't you join? I have a buddy who's the head coach of a lacrosse team on Long Island. He's like, join the staff. No shit. Why don't you be? Why don't you be a coordinator? No shit. And I was like, dude, I don't. I don't know, man. I don't know if I could be a a gym teacher or if I can. You ever coach your I, kids? I did. I coached uh, kids. I coached baseball. I coached uh, basketball. When when the kids were younger and all that shit. What kind yeah. of coach were you? Um, I was encouraging, encouraging, and I wanted the kids to have fun, kind of like I am as a host. I just want everybody to have a good time. I want it to be fun. Um, sometimes I would take it seriously, maybe a little bit, um, as they got older. But for the most part, yeah, no, it was just have fun and do the best you can. That's it. That's and if all they I were ask. bad, if they were bad, you just. You just what it is. You just. I mean, as long as as long as they were getting through it. Like some of the parents are like fucking so hard on their kids already. Like you don't want to have to be hard on them. Also, you know what I'm saying. Like some of the dads are just like right. get in front of the ball, and they've never played a fucking inning or any. They've never been good at any sport in their lives, and right. they're trying to live through their kids. And I think that's a shitty thing. But then there's kids that parents. Don't do that, and you're like, okay, you. I need to, I need to yell at you to do something. Yeah, yeah. Um, luckily, I had all good kids, man. I had, well, I was lucky. I had a lot of good kids, a lot of kids who loved the game, who who loved to play and shit like that, and it was fun. It was, it was a lot of fun, man. I wish my dad was like that with me, actually, like hard on me and fucking drilling me and tr I don't mean back shots, but I mean like fucking going through drills. Like I think about it sometimes, like how I may have been different in my career if my dad was like, hey, you got to wake up six in the morning and fucking do aquatics and shit like oh, that. Oh, what? He know? was an easygoing guy? Yeah, he was kind of like laid back. He was always there. Huh, interesting. I was raised by my dad. So he was always at every game and fucking just there for me. You know what I'm saying? Which is kind of weird. Like, most times, and I used to have a bit about this. It's like, you know, most times you see the, the kids excel because they're to overcompensate for their dad not being around. And I didn't make it to that Major League Baseball because my dad was just there encouraging me all the time. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, you had a Democrat dad. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. He's like, go, son, you're going to do great. And I was like, yeah, I guess. Okay, interesting. Yeah. My dad was my coach. He wasn't a forceful guy, but I wouldn't say he was passive either. He was, I think he had a good balance. Yeah. 
good coach and value. I would say high school football really drilled into me like work ethic. Yeah. I think everyone, regardless of gender, has to play high school football. I think, yeah, I think you should. I think you should play high school football. Um, it's really important. It builds character, man. It builds character, camaraderie. You get to meet a whole bunch of people, you know, and be around a whole bunch of different type of people that you wouldn't normally be around. And I think it's pretty cool. Yeah. Well, I don't know a bunch of people. They're all the same type of guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, but you you have some of the some guys who are from different backgrounds and stuff like that. Who okay, are, you know what I'm saying? Like yeah, yeah. who come from? Di- I mean, at least in my in my school, there was like people from all over. You know that I wouldn't normally talk to even in school. You know what I'm saying? That's true. Because we were on opposite sides of the building or whatever, and then you know you 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 bond over this common thing, and you know. Did you play? I did play. You played high school I, football. I played high school football. What'd you play? I, what position? I pay, I played uh, cornerback and wide receiver in uh, in high school, and I played basketball and obviously baseball. I played all the sports. I also did some cross country in high school too, and yeah. And then what happened? Then eventually you lifted weights, and you're like, "This sucks," because you look, you don't look like a wide receiver. You look like an outside linebacker. Um, yeah, I wasn't this big. I was like um, maybe one. I don't even know how much I weighed in high school, but I wasn't I wasn't this big um, in high school. I was way way skinnier. Huh. Um, and then I I hit adulthood, and all of a sudden, I don't know. Maybe I start. St- Started eating a lot and fucking stopped working out as much as I should have been. But uh, when I when I got back into baseball, I was in really good shape. But yeah, I just fucking blew up after that. Wait, did you play ball at FDU? Where did no, you end up I playing qu- ball? I, I quit. I quit um, right around that time, and then uh, I went into like these uh, these adult leagues. But I was oh, doing. Oh, so you just jumped into that. I was doing. I, I was doing that so that I can work out and play in the independent league, and that didn't work out at all for me. I'm sorry. I'm so you joined. Oh, that doesn't matter. So you did. Wait. Ad, so you are joining like adult fast pitch yeah, leagues? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wood bat and all that shit. <sighs> That's yeah. sad. Yeah, it is. Those are it sad is. guys. Yeah. Um. A lot of the guys. I mean, I was a. I was younger, and a lot of the guys were older, trying to. But I was really trying to go back, like working out and all that shit. Wait, were they like try, like actually? There were trying? guys that there were guys that came from, that were uh, playing independent league ball that came back, and guys who were who might have been like on the fringe of the league. They all played ball. A lot of them right. professionally, and uh, they came back and tried to. You know, although I can't let going. me go to the men's league to work on my uh, curve. Yeah, yeah. No, I mean, I was seeing 92 at the knees and I was like, I can't do this anymore. Right. You know, um, motherfuckers was hitting their spots and I was just like, yeah, this is I'm done with this. Yeah, I'm going to code. What is this? Yeah. 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 What the hell's I, let, going on let, with this shit? Let me just coach or fuck. Let me just coach kids for a little bit. There has to be. Let nothing. me get back into IT shit. Right. Let me make a little money. Yeah. Let me make some this money. This computer should so work So I can have a family and fucking live out the rest of my days, fucking owning a home and yeah, that life. I there, lived that life. There can't be anything sadder than like going to the doctor and be like, "Yeah, I need a rotator cuff surgery." That's I'm funny. Thirty-two. Yeah. And I think I still got a shot. Yeah. No, that's funny that you say that because I blew out my rotator cuff and labrum. Um, when I was maybe about that, maybe 32 or something like that. Yeah, but what? But it wasn't, it wasn't baseball. It wasn't baseball. It was just, I started lifting heavy at that time. Okay. Yeah. That's what men do. That's different. (laughs) If you tear your labrum shoulder pressing, (laughs) that's fine. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Yeah, But if you're playing a game, I know I always tried to work on this bit, but it never really worked out where like, there's nothing sadder than like going to the office and seeing someone in a cast. Yeah. Because they have fucking weekends. Like, what the fuck happened <laughs> yeah, to you? Yeah. It's yeah. like you're, th- you're in your 30s, dude. Relax. Right. Yeah, you, you showed do? up in an eye patch? <laughs> what did you do over the weekend, dude? Right. Yeah. Weekend warrior trying to live out his dream- his stupid dreams? Uh, yeah. What's wrong with you, dude? Dude, the eye patches are for like uh, elementary school kids who got poked in the eye or pirates. Those right. are the only two things. Or 70-year-old men getting cataract surgery. That's the other thing that okay, gets right, you surgery. in my opinion. Yeah. If I do, wait, did you do LASIK? No, not no. yet. Not yet. Not yet. Not yet. I, I'm thinking about it. I know I'm in the market. Yeah? I'm in the market for LASIK. Did you grow up wearing glasses? 
I'm wearing contacts right now. No yeah. shit. I got my glasses over there. No shit. I, yeah. I got the bifocals a few years ago, dude, and I've been holding on to, like, not using them, but it's getting worse, dude. Well, yeah, because you're getting old. I'm 50, yeah. It's, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's terrible. what's going to happen. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Bifocals. Yeah. That's such I, you a can't, jump. You can't really see it, though. Like, it's... If I look up... Don't bullshit me, dude. You can see the <laughs> fucking bifocals. <laughs> Who are you fucking kidding, dude? Yeah, yeah. I don't, I don't wear them that much, but uh, when I read... Like, last night I was on the phone, and I'm like, oh, shit, I need to... I'm, I'm, I don't want to make my font bigger, dude. I'm trying to hold out to not make my font bigger. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're trying to still wear beanies and keep small fonts. Right. right. Yeah, you're trying to stay young. <laughs> I'm trying to and stay guess young. Guess what, Lee? It's not working. Just <laughs> put the glasses not, on and put not, on a baseball dude. cap. It's not, dude. It's fucking terrible, dude. And, I, I mean, doing comedy is fucking... I'm hanging out with a bunch of 30-year-old dudes and stuff like that, and I'm like, yeah, I, I can still hang, but no, it's not. It's not happening. Well, I mean, if we went to a restaurant right now and they handed up the menu, what's I going not on? See it. I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll take a picture with it. Uh, I'll take no, a picture of it. Won't. I'll take a picture of it. It depends on the lighting. Um, I'll have to take a picture of it and blow it up on my phone. <laughs> so you are making the font bigger. I mean, a picture in a in a in a fucking in a restaurant. If it's dark, if it's light, I can see. But if it's dark, like. You think There's it's no a way. better look to take a picture of a menu and zoom in on your phone yes. than just put the glasses on? Well, I don't carry my glasses around all the time either. That's the other this thing. This is a problem. Yeah, that's the other thing. Okay. Yeah, I, I don't I don't have to wear them all the time either, so. I'll be honest, it sounds like you do. It sounds <laughs> like I do. Well, I can see the, I can see the book. I can see the the font on the on the books. Oh, good. So font is about size one thousand and six. Yeah, you yeah, can, yeah. You can I can read it. that. Yeah, from afar. Stop the, signs. The, you're good with. Yeah, I can see. <laughs> <laughs> I can see the blink one eighty two poster you got there. No big deal. Just had that, that hung up. It looks Shout good. out to TaskRabbit. It looks good. Oh, you got you hired a dude. <laughs> yeah, dude. I'm not a man. <laughs> <laughs> you, you. I need a man to come in and hang this poster. Yeah, dude, above best my forty bed. bucks I ever spent. He hung up all the fucking things on oh, the wall. All, he did all of all of these. That that there's a Seinfeld one there. That piece of artwork, and then there's an Islanders. Thing oh no shit! On the wall there. Well, you didn't go to SUNY Cortland to fucking hang pictures, dude. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Listen, I'm tr- I'm trash, but I'm not. You know, I'm I'm the worst type of trash. But not even a man. Right. 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 You yeah. know? Yeah, my mother-in-law would not be impressed with you either. <laughs> yeah, well, guess what? You can feel my hands. Rougher than yours. <laughs> oh, shit, man. No, no one my age knows how to do shit, dude. You know, I don't know, man. Maybe maybe in New York City, but maybe in like the Midwest, there's, those guys are fucking blue-collar as hell, maybe. Yeah, maybe. You think like Indiana, there's some like... Yeah, Men? they're fucking yeah, they're they're fucking pickup truck guys, uh, you know, working in the fields or something like that, or you know, fucking milking their goats and their cows and shit like that, and really doing man shit like building houses and shit like that. Do you think, from the way you're talking, it sounds like you think they all do all that kind of stuff? I think so. Yeah. Yeah. You're like if you, it's can- like a culture of fucking men out there who do that and they raise other. Men to do it too. You know, if you could build a bridge, you could also milk a goat. And they're out there like, no, well, no. Yeah, so he's I know one of those things. Built, building a bridge and milking goats at the same time. Also, goats a weird animal to start milk with. Ye- Cow. Well, they're health conscious too because they're fucking they're millennials, so they gotta they can't. They're like, I don't drink. Cow milk. <laughs> They're milking almonds. <laughs> <laughs> Around the field, just milking, yeah. milking the almonds. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So like, this shit's not working. <laughs> what the hell? Oh, shit. Yeah. So, I mean, yeah, in the Midwest, those guys are doing shit like that, man. Like doing blue collar shit. I'm guessing. I don't think there's like, is there like a, 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 a hipster area in fucking in Kansas City? You know what I'm saying? Is that a thing? Where kids just write blocks. I don't think, I think that's like East no, Coast, West Coast. There's no liberal arts colleges in the Midwest. Exactly. That's the thing. You go to technical school or you get a trade. Like there's nothing but fucking, you could probably find the best plumbers in Indiana. Dude, you know who, what I drove past the other day? We can end the regular episode on this. You know what I drove past the other day? A Lincoln Tech. No shit. Those still like, exist. Yo! No shit. Mari went off the air, but not those things. Those <laughs> things are still kicking. <laughs> David Letterman retired before Lincoln 
Tech. Lincoln prefer. Tech still around. <laughs> and my friends had no idea what Lincoln Tech was. You know, I'd be more surprised. I'm not surprised with the Lincoln Tech thing. Um, I would be more surprised if there's still a DeVry around. Are there physical DeVry's? There used to be physical De- yeah. Really? Like Lincoln Tech and DeVry were like neck and neck. But I don't know. I, I would be interested to see if there was one now. Wait, I thought Lincoln Tech was like the, uh, that was the trade school That's the of trade the school. internet. Um, or am I? I mean, they, gay? they were, they were, they were like any other school, like on site, on prem fucking, you're building cars. You're learning how to build a car right here in Lincoln Tech. Interesting. I guess they transitioned. They, they didn't do like fucking, uh, like, uh, Blockbuster. You know, no. they just transitioned into the internet shit. Probably, I don't know, but yeah, Lincoln Tech they were like heavy on prem. They had the like best the marketing, the best marketing. Yeah, they're like, "Are you at home being a fat, lazy idiot? <laughs> are you are, are you on your way to becoming a lacrosse assistant coach? <laughs> <laughs> are you an unemployed twenty two year old that's sitting on his mom's couch eating bugles? And you're like, that's very like, specific. But yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. You had the witch's <laughs> claw in your hand. You're like, I am eating bugles yeah, right now. How shit. the hell did you know? Do like, I stop being a fat piece of shit and come learn how to change a spark plug? Yeah, yeah, like, okay. yeah, yeah. Fucking, you know, I was gonna make a DeVry uh, parody commercial. And maybe I'll pick that. Maybe I'll do a, like a Lincoln Tech fucking parody now. That would be a good idea. That'd be a good idea. Yeah. All right, what time do we have? Okay, we're switching, dude. We're switching to the Patreon. Let's go. To, Meet us over the there. Paid, this is for the paid people. I this is for the you. paid people. Here we go. <laughs> 